So another retailer has its Christmas decorations out and ready, and it's only the start of October. But incredibly, down Oxford Street, we've got some Christmas lights ready as well. Remarkable! So join us as we look at the John Lewis Christmas decorations for 2023. So, yep, this is John Lewis on Oxford Street, one of the massive stores, and look what they've got up already. So this was filmed on Friday the 28th of September, and look, the Christmas decorations are starting to go up in readiness for their switch on, whenever that might be, probably, I would guess, end of October, beginning of November, and they've got the same decorations as last year. So be interesting to see what John Lewis put on the front of their building. Now, as you go into John Lewis here on Oxford Street, you've got this beautiful elevator ride, which you can then see up the various floors. And as you can see, the Christmas shop is being well advertised here on the third floor. But if you get off the escalator, the beautiful thing is the home furnishings department, which is right next to it, they've also decorated with different Christmas decorations and different themes so you can see how they are. Now this has to be one of my personal favourites that they've done here at John Lewis this year, this sort of avenue of false trees. So you can get the false trees from here but as you're going down you're coming through the tree emporium, fantastic, and what are you going to? That hut at the end there will eventually have Father Christmas and you can buy your tickets now in advance if you fancy coming to see Father Christmas here at John Lewis on Oxford Street. So if you are going to pay a visit to John Lewis here at Oxford Street, I really recommend you come in the way I did, which is through the Christmas trees, because then you get the beautiful lights all hanging there, some of the stocking fillers as well on the table, which we'll come back to a little bit later. But just look at all those baubles and how they're hanging from the ceiling. It really does add to the decoration wherever you look. And one thing I really love about Christmas is all of the different types of lights and the different types of trees, all the things that you can get for Christmas, and they've got that here in this section section, including your gift wrap. You probably haven't even thought about the presents yet, but you can get your gift wrap in advance and then save it for years later and then probably lose it somewhere. Yeah, we do that every year here as well. Now, talking of Christmas lit up things, here we've got an assortment of outside decorations, and you've got them in both the cream type, but also the bright white as well. And if you fancy a street light or the odd stray reindeer outside your front door, there you go, many a selection here. Plus, also, you've got some great gift ideas this year as well. Now, they didn't really do that last year, so if you want a Panatoni or any of the other bits and pieces to put someone in someone's Christmas stocking, please do. Now, here, you've got a whole section of advent calendars, and if you've seen our recent video on Fortnum & Mason, yeah, they're not quite Fortnum & Mason style, but you've probably got more of the stuff that people might want. Yeah more affordable. Um, although saying that, just look how much these Legos are. Uh, you've got 20 quid for that one, but that one, the Marvel one, at 75 pounds. Yeah, I double took on that as well. And here we've got some really posh chocolate advent calendars. And one of the things I love are advent candles. There just seems to be something about it during the month of December when you set fire to them. Now, the other thing that you can get in advance is these Lego City and Lego Star Wars advent calendars. All I would say is they go like hotcakes. So actually, if you're gonna get something like that, you need to get on with that very, very quick. Yeah, I know from personal buying experience over the years. So here we've got some more Christmas light up bits, light up stars, uh, you've also got a fox. Now I'm not quite sure what it is about a fox for Christmas, but if a fox don't take your fancy, how about a reindeer with some Christmas lights around it? Either that or a leprechaun. Well, I think that's a leprechaun anyway, holding a present. Anyway, you've got all sorts of decorations here to put outside your house, uh, which is just a great thing that lots and lots of people do before Christmas. Speaking of which, we're going to be going around London to catch all of the Christmas decorations in the different areas of London and be bringing them to you here on this channel during November and December. So you want to make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss out on those. 
I love this. I call this a sort of the neon section where you've got all different types of lights. And there you go. You can have penguins on your trees, although they're rather large penguins on a, on a tree um, and all different types of stars. Well, and if you really want something, how about an oversized bonsai tree to put inside your house all lit up? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? At least you haven't got to do any pruning and this one won't die because it's artificial. Anyway, um, how about that? A big Christmas sign on the side of your Christmas tree. I'm not quite sure where you're going to put the rest of the decorations and it'll probably use most of the power power grid wherever you are and with the price of electricity something to consider for Christmas 2023 love those father Christmases now if you're watching this and thinking shut up Steve show us some of the great decorations that John Lewis have got do you know what let's do it right they've got various collections and we're going to show you all the collections they've got we're going to start off with this one which is called Royal Fairy Tale as you can see and it gives you a guide on each of the different sections to what they're about so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the decorations on the tree and then we'll go over to look at the decorations separately so it gives you an idea also, if you see anything that you like, you can go to johnlewis.com. No, we're not sponsored by them, but that's just where you go. And you can go and have a look online and see what you can buy. Now, the good thing with John Lewis is they've probably got a bigger collection on there than some of the other stores that we've featured already. So you've got all sorts of things. Now, within the Royal Fairy Tale, you really have got quite a cross selection of different types of decorations see if any of these take your fancy and it's good to see that not only they've got ballerinas and nutcrackers but they've also got peacocks which seems to be a theme again this year I think this is quite an eclectic collection because not only have you got different types of decorations, but you've also got lots and lots of different colours as well, like these Father Christmases in these red baubles, uh, butterflies there, there in the middle with all sorts of glitter on them as well, which is probably going to come off in your hands before you can get them onto the tree. Um, and also, if you fancy a green frog on your Christmas tree or anything else green, you've got this in this section here as well. Okay, let's talk ballpark figure for pricing of some of these decorations. Now, most of these decorations are either six, seven, eight pounds. I found a few at about a tenner, and you might have seen that bauble just now, which was 18. And to be quite honest, probably, that's probably one of the most expensive of the decorations they've got hanging from trees that I've actually seen here. And I like that you've got a red dragon there. It's obviously probably very angry because I thought most of them were green. Uh, one of the decorations that I loved is this sort of sun and the moon effect. So you've got the moon on one side, and then you turn it round and you've got the sun on the other. Like that. Right, next collection is this polar planet. And this feels great. It really does feel a sort of eco-friendly with the sort of the wicker and the sorts of things that they said that they've used here to create these decorations. And once again, we'll have a look at these on the tree and then we'll have a look at these independently. But polar bears are definitely a big feature within this collection. Also, one of the things you may have noticed is that you've got a QR code on each of the decoration descriptions as well, so you can go and have a closer look online. So if you can scan those whilst you're watching the video, that will help you as well. But there you go, see what I mean? Polar bear hugging the earth and a polar bear on a lump of ice. That's obviously pre-climate melt. I guess with Arctic foxes and lots of whales, as you can see, um, this is definitely very Nordic. And I love this. Yeah, for eight pounds, you can buy an igloo and put it on your Christmas tree. Because let's face it, every Christmas tree needs an igloo. And if you've got an Arctic themed Christmas tree, do let us know in the comments down below. Was that something you fancy doing this year? So whilst we continue having a look at the collection, I've got some key dates for your diary. If you're coming up to John Lewis here at Oxford Street, because they've got various Christmas workshops happening, launching on the 16th of November, where they've got festive themed customer workshops hosted by popular brands online and in store. So that gives you a chance to see things online as well. Plus, they got Santa's Grotto. Now, we showed you that earlier. That is launching on the 22nd of November. And it's here and in nine other John Lewis stores across the country, including a new interactive journey. How about that? So you can buy your tickets in advance for that. You get a chance to meet Santa and Santa's little helpers as well. Plus, there's one more other thing that they're going to be doing, which also sounds quite exciting. We'll cover that in a minute. But before we do, let's go to the winter fairy tale. That is our next theme here at John Lewis. 
So for this set of decorations, I'll call them your sort of pale colours, your very white icy, because that sort of fits in with your winter fairy tale collection. So let's have a look at the tree. Now let's have a look at some of the individual decorations that are hanging from there. Looking at a lot of these collection in the Winter Fairy Tale collection, you can sort of see that these are your more delicate decorations to go on your tree. So they're probably the things you've got to be really, really careful with because by the time you open the bag and you get home, most of them will be shattered across it. Yeah, definitely one to be very, very careful with in packing. Now, one of the things I meant to say earlier is we're covering a lot of Christmas decorations. And actually, if I was to spend ages on every single piece of decoration, this video would be about two hours long. And let's face it, we've all got other things to do before Christmas, not even just go buying stuff on Amazon. So if you need to have a closer look at any of these things, just hit the pause button, have a look, and then restart the video. There you go. That stops the keyboard warriors from having a go at me saying, you're too fast. One thing I also love about all of the different stores that we've covered so far, and I've put everything of Christmas 2023 together in a playlist up in the top right hand corner for you. But the great thing that I love is they've got a bit of everything for everyone. So it doesn't matter how you think your Christmas decorations this year or every year, there's probably gonna be something here that you look and go, do you know what? That would look perfect on my tree. Even if it is a pink carriage, which will turn into a pumpkin at midnight, which could be a bit of an issue for the branches of your tree. Okay, from the quieter serene decorations, we go to the more outlandish ones. Yes, we're going really colourful with the rainbow time capsule. Now, last year, they had the similar sort of decorations, and I think if I remember rightly, they called it the disco, uh, disco sort of collection. This year, they've called it the rainbow time capsule. Whatever you call it, they're certainly loud and leery. So actually, if you fancy something really loud and eclectic on your tree, this is definitely the decorations that you need to come and have a look at. Now, speaking of last year's decorations, if you want to compare 2022 John Lewis decorations to 2023, I've put that video up in the top right hand corner for you. So at least you can have a look and compare and see what you think between the two different sets of decorations. And if you do that, just let us know in the comments which ones you prefer down below. Now, I thought these were quite different. These are sort of balloon dogs. Yes, you know, the sort of sausage dogs they make with balloons at parties. Yeah, so you can put that on your tree. But what I was quite amazed by was how heavy they were. And you fancy a piñata without any sweets in it? There you go, it's a diet piñata. Then you can have a colourful one sitting on your tree. There really is quite a mix in here from plates of food, also uh, lots and lots of crepes with chocolate oozing out, to coffees and various types of drinks and burgers. If this is your type of thing, you definitely want to hit that website quick and get these because you can imagine they're going to go. Also, I also noticed, look, they've got gherkins. I think it's got to be the first year I've actually found gherkins. They're probably other things in other countries, but here in the UK, um, they're sort of pickled cucumbers. There you go, just to give you an idea. Yoga mat, if you fancy one of those as well and then you've got various types of felt things and there you go you've got those balloon dogs as well in pink and just to show they've really got the mix because Christmas says nothing like Kentucky fried chicken and other fried chicken is available there you go you've got buckets of there that you can hang from your Christmas tree so those of you with your food themed trees uh, that might be ideal for you something that you haven't got before okay let's go to beyond Christmas and I love this this is otherworldly otherworldly they're not joking not only have you got planets here but you've got rockets spacemen and also aliens so this is a really out of this world tree and collection So if you're in the UK, a lot of these decorations are available wherever you are. If you've got a local John Lewis, do pop in there. Also, we've still got to bring you some London themed decorations before the end of the video. Now, one other thing to tell you as well, here at John Lewis and also in six other stores, they're gonna be having Christmas markets, which launch on the 13th of November. So another great thing to go into John Lewis for, which are gonna be showcasing artisan handmade products from local businesses. You can imagine this theme being a big hit with kids or adults that are into various space themes. You can just imagine someone sneaking the alien onto your Christmas tree and then ruining your theme without you realizing. 
What I really love is that you've seen with the themes so far, you get the title and it tells you a bit about the actual themes. You haven't got this on two of them, and this is one of them, which is the country cottage decorations. So there's no sort of theme, and I had to ask a member of staff what these were all about. Anyway, that's the tree with them on. Let's have a look and see what's included in this collection. So a lot of the decorations within this theme remind me of the sorts of things you can get at Liberty, especially with the sort of the animals, the squirrels and the various other bits and pieces which we're showing you here. And you get various decorations. So it's probably a more earthly Christmas tree decoration. And if that's your kind of thing, do let us know in the comments down below because it's always interesting to see what people put on their trees. So here you've got all sorts of animals. Not only that, how about that little cottage? That's really, really nice. And Father Christmas as well. Again, felt ones. And then you've got teapots. <laughs> well, why not? If you're going to hang something from your tree, you may as well add a teapot. And there you've got cones inside glass. Yeah, I can see what would happen there if we had those on our decorations, but probably drop them before we get them anywhere near the tree. There you go, you've got foxes and also a squirrel holding a nut. And that's one which we're gonna be giving away at some point before Christmas here on this channel. Yes, I got one of those. So not only have you got the great collections, you've got some bigger decorations that you can buy here as well, such as the polar bears, which seems to be a big theme this year at John Lewis. Father Christmases, some of the gonks as well, which I know people like, wreaths, and lots and lots of different coloured baubles for different themes for your tree. Really hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, you know what you need to do. Give us a thumbs up, will you? Because if you do that, we can spread this video to more people across YouTube so that they can love London as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you love Christmas, wow, Christmas 2023 is about to hit London, and we're going to feature it here on this channel. The final collection we want to bring you is the London Connection. Now, this was sort of tucked away and I just happened to find it before leaving the Christmas department. And you see those red buses? Yep, you could have a chance to win one of those very soon on this channel before Christmas. So if you fancy that hanging from your Christmas tree, you definitely want to make sure you keep watching, no doubt about it. So here you can get all London stuff. As you can see, they've got crowns as we've featured in other stores as well across London and various other London bits as well. So here you've got everything from those felt teapots, which we've seen earlier, carriages, uh, lions with crowns on, because <laughs> why wouldn't you? And also red telephone boxes. And I love those soldiers in their sentry boxes. One thing I have noticed is a real absence of snow globes. And this is about as close as you get, but it's not got liquid. You can just shake the snowflakes in there. Now, if you need Christmas stockings, we've got those. And I love these garlands. They all seem to be a sort of a natural type. They did have tinsel, but I didn't manage to catch it. But these garlands are really, really nice. So there's absolutely no doubt about it. John Lewis and London is getting ready for Christmas 2023. So we've already showed you the Christmas decorations early on from Harrods. We've also showed you Liberty and also Fortnum and Mason. And now that was John Lewis. So how does John Lewis compare? Let us know in the comments down below. And also looking at all the Christmas decorations, which ones are your favorites? And who knows, we have a competition coming up between now and Christmas where you could win a couple of the decorations you may well have seen in the John Lewis collection as well as some of the others around the other places as well so you want to keep watching for that anyway thanks so much for watching and I've put another video up in the top right hand corner of Liberty and if you haven't caught the Liberty Christmas decorations you're certainly going to want to see those so catch you in there